All right, the I can statement for today is I can multiply a one digit whole number by a multiple of 10 or 100. And that's a multiple of 10, so up to 90. And for the 100 is up to 900. Okay, so before we get started, um, really important that you should have your basic facts memorized. And if you don't, um, that you can skip count. So we're gonna be working with four. So let's just go over, skip counting by four. So four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, 28, 32, 36, 40, 44, and 48. Okay, so that's just for us to reference. All right, so let's look at, let's start with a one digit by one digit. So let's look at two times four. Okay, so two times four is eight. Um, and just to see a little visual, that's two groups of four, right? There's four, one, two, three, four, and four, and there's two groups of four. So two groups of four is equal to eight, okay? Now, that's part of our multiples of four, right? Two groups of four is eight. Um, let's now look at two times, which is the standard for three, okay? Let's look at two times 40. Now we have a multiple of 10, which is 40 instead of four. And now we're trying to figure out what two times 40 is. So the point of this standard is for you to be able to realize that because you know your multiples of the single digit um, four, you can figure out what two times 40 is by thinking of 40 as multiples. So instead of four, think 40, 80, 120, 160, 200, 240, 280, 320, 360, 400, 440, 480. So what's two groups of 40? I know two groups of four is eight. So I know two groups of 40, again, another visual. Here's one group of 40. Here's another group of 40. That's two groups of 40 is 80. And I got that, I had the um, manipulatives, but I also got that because I know that if I skip count and I know my multiples of four, I can figure out my multiples of 40. All right, let's keep on going. Two times, this time, 400, our multiple of 100. That red is dying, okay? So you should start to be able to see a pattern. So two times 400, those may seem like, or that may seem like a large value, right? 400. But if I know that two times four is eight, two times 40 is 80, I know that two times 400, and I don't have the flats for it, but two times 400 is 800. Two groups of 400 is 800. Again, I got that because I know my multiples of four, I can skip count by four, and I can just apply that with a, with a larger value, right? 400, 800, 1,200, 1,600, and so on. Um, I colored the zeros in red because you may notice that, hey, on the equal sign, right? On the left of the equal sign, there's one zero. On the right, there's one zero. On the left, there's two zeros. On the right, there's two zeros. And yes, that's a pattern that you might notice, but it does not work every time. So real quick, what if I had um, five times four, okay? So I know five times four is 20. And I should have done that. Let's just call this one. Five times four is 20, right? Okay, now if you were to think, oh, let me just add the zeros, the trick, five times 40, and I'll color these then. Now, if you're just relying on your trick, you're like, okay, five times 40, there's one zero, that must be 20. Well, that doesn't make any sense, right? Because five times four is 20, not five times 40. So you can't just rely on the zeros trick. You really have to know your multiples and be able to skip count and just think um, logically, right? So five times 40, five groups of 40 is 200. Right here. It is not 20. So don't rely on the zeros trick. Nah. Um, use your math sense.